Hello again everybody, um, Sal here from salstavern.blogspot.com Today uh, I have another video um, that I actually wrote a post about and that is creating a bootable PlayStation 2 memory card. Uh, this method is known as the, the exploited memory card method. Um, so what you need here uh, first to start out is a modded PlayStation 2 because with this modded PlayStation 2 we're going to um, play this uh, D, this uh, CD that um, I have the ulaunch.elf files on here. Now the ulaunch is available on the internet, you can google it, you can also find links in my show description to the files where you can download it, unzip it, burn it to CD, and this is ready to go. You're going to need a blank uh, memory card, okay, 8 meg PlayStation 8 meg memory card, and uh, again the modded PS2 okay so we're gonna start off by uh, popping this in and giving it a reboot and uh, it should load the uh, ulaunch software and you'll uh, it's very very easy to spot and here is the uh, menu uh, for the U launch, it's not looking very good on uh, on the screen, um, but uh, anyways, you hit you hit circle and it goes into the file browser. Um, also, one more thing, you also need to download um, free MC, uh, memory MC boot or free mic boot, uh, I call it. That again is free over the internet, and what you do is uh, you download it, unzip it, and slap it on a memory stick. Um, because what we're gonna, what happens here is you've loaded the U launch now, and through the file browser you're gonna run Free McBoot to format your memory card. Okay, so we're gonna plug in the USB stick, just like so, and we'll plug in the uh, memory card. And to navigate, you hit Circle. And then you go down to uh, mass. Now you got MC0, MC1, that's memory card slot 0, which is really your first one, memory card slot 1, which is really the second one. Um, then you got some other ones. You got CDFS, it must be CD file system. Um, BDD, I'm not sure what that is. You got host miscellaneous, so I think you can, it also lets you do some networking on here too to directly download uh, files over the network um, but we're not going to do that right now right now we're just going to create the bootable memory card so you go down to mass hit circle and now all the files on my memory card on my USB stick are here and I have free MC boot in a directory there so you just scroll down circle and then uh, you run the free underscore micboot dot elf so you scroll down to that and it's going to load. As you can see, this is uh, so you got normal install. I don't know if you, you could probably can normal install, multi version install, uh, launch FMCB. I'm not too sure. Then there's uh, FM uh, um, free mic boot um, configurator format memory card and uninstall multi version. So what we're going to do is we're going to install the multi version. So hit X, detecting memory card, and this will install free mic boot uh, multi version on memory card one. You go OK. No boot.elf detected uh, in your install folder. Do you want to continue? Sure. I'm not sure if you need the uh, install folder right now, but. Um, it's doing its thing. Building, writing, so it's going through uh, all the steps.
Free Mic Boot installed successfully on memory card one. And uh, and that's it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap out the PlayStation for an unmodded system. Here is the memory card that we created with free mix boot on it. So now the same memory stick, and now it can be anyone, but I'm just using this one. You also have to um, create a folder called boot, B-O-O-T. And in that folder, you, um, the, you launch files that you rip to the CD, put a copy of that on the memory stick inside the boot folder. Okay, because what happens is this will, the memory card will boot up and it'll call you launch off this memory stick. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on without the memory stick and you're going to see a difference in the, uh, in the menu when you turn it on. Free Mic Boot. Free Mic Boot. Now, again, it didn't find the USB stick, so we have, uh, see how the menu has changed now. We have browser, system configuration. We have launch disk. Now this is new. I, I, I am using a new version of MacBoot. It's 1.8. Um, reload configuration and uh, free MacBoot configurator. This is pretty interesting. I wonder what kind of disk you can launch. Anyways. Anyways, let's, let's do one thing at a time here. We're going to take the USB stick, we're going to pop it in, and uh, let's reboot the system. A little light is flashing on the USB stick, it's getting accessed. You probably can't see that. So, we selected you launch, uh, you launch on the menu here, and here it is, um, it accessed the USB stick, and now we're in the um, file browser, and from here, um, now there's things you can do, you can run emulation software for Nintendo, um, actually uh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, that's is from what I've been able to play with so far. Um, I know people are asking the question if you can play backed up games onto the system and uh, just ignore the cat um, and uh, that is a still I don't know if I have any information on that I will surely create a video but I know that several of my tutorials uh, at least um, one other one or two other I can't remember um, they do reference uh, the this uh, this exploit memory exploit in the instructions. So what I've done now is put it on video and hopefully it's easy to follow and uh, if you have any questions leave a comment. My website again is salstavern.blogspot.com uh, and, and starting now if you find any of my tutorials useful you can uh, go on my website and buy me a, a cup of coffee whether it be a regular coffee for $1.50 a uh, gourmet coffee for um, two fifty, or a week's worth of coffee for eight dollars. So if you find anything. Uh...